hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is nafiz here and i am back here with another video of my web development series in this lecture we'll learn how to use tables in our website how to use the table tag of html so before that if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon for my future video notification I made a lot of videos of programming language and web development and also graphic design and blogging in my webs in my channel so please do subscribe to my channel so let's get started with today's video I have created a new HTML file I have named it table.html now I will write the basic structure of it you know the basic structure I'll just do a basic skip to it and i have opened the live server here so in our body tag we will write a h2 tag here h2 tag here write this this is a table site and if we save this we can see in our live server this is the table site so now we will make a table so for making a table the tag is table this is the initial tag to make a table so we will give a name of our table so suppose we give a name so for giving a name we need to write another tag which is which is called caption C -A -P -P -A -O -N, caption so this caption is for the table caption the name of the table so I'll, I will write test test table 01 if i save this in our console we can see, uh, sorry in our web browser we can see test table 01 so this is the caption of our table so now we will make a table so consider a table what elements do a table has so, uh, first of all the table has a row so table has a row so let me open uh, paint demonstrate this so okay so what elements a table has so first of all it has a so a table is a box so we consider a table is a box okay a table is a box now inside this box this is not a table this is a box so what is a table so we have some horizontal line we have some horizontal line here so now this is a table okay so what is this horizontal line so this horizontal line is called rows these horizontal lines are called rows so these are these are rows and also our table might have some vertical lines so what these vertical lines are these vertical lines are the columns so these vertical lines are the columns so these are the columns so these are the columns and these are the rows so this is a table so these are the rows and these are the column so we need to define this in our html file so what can we write here we will first of all we need the rows not the column first of all we need the rows so we can go to our paint again so first of all we need to make our rows then we will have our columns the vertical lines first of all we need the horizontal line so we will write table rows so that for that we will write tr in short for table rows so inside this table row we will write our table columns how many columns we need for our table so suppose we need one two three four columns uh, four columns so we will write four columns so td td for table columns td uh, stands for table data so in our columns in our columns we will keep some data we will keep some data so the columns are table data so suppose we have first name so after this uh, column we will name another column so td td again 
we will write all this inside of the table row inside of the table row not outside of the table row first row this is the first row this is the first row so suppose we will write here the um, number maybe a phone number and another pd write it okay. address so this is a table this is the first row let me copy and paste this and so suppose we have a name a save we have a number a example number and we have a address suppose have Dhaka. so if we run this uh, save this we will see in our browser we have the table section here the name the number the address a seed, the number and the address so this one is in one row and this one is in another row and we have the first column the second column and the third column but there is a problem here we, we can see any lines here uh, so suppose we have uh, this kind of lines this kind of lines this kind of lines we can't see this in our browser so what's the problem here because we didn't define any border to our table so we need to define a border border to our table the so border equal to double position maybe two so now if we save this we will see a border of our table now it's looking like a table so we have the border of our table here we can copy and paste this to make the table more more long suppose we have a name called Arman Arman from Dhaka Anam Anam from Huma so if we set this we can see that our table goes so this is the table so this is the basic of implementation of the table tag in our website so in our uh, after lecture we will learn how to design or how to add attributes to our table tags but for today's video this was all the basic of table in our next lecture we'll learn how to implement the table more further so till then take care bye bye